This is probably going to be the most simplest one for you to answer, but what if you're wrong? Well, what if I'm wrong? I mean, anybody could be wrong. We could all be wrong about the flying spaghetti monster and the pink unicorn and the flying teapot. Um, you happen to have been brought up, I would presume, in the Christian faith. You know what it's like not to believe in a particular faith because you're not a Muslim, you're not a Hindu. Why aren't you a Hindu? Because you happen to have been brought up in America, not in India. If you'd been brought up in, Indo in India, you'd be a Hindu. If you were brought up in, in um, Denmark in the time of the Vikings, you'd be believing in Wotan and Thor. If you were brought up in, in classical Greece, you'd be believing in, in Zeus. If you were brought up in Central Africa, you'd be believing in the great juju up the mountain. In, there's no particular reason to pick on the Judeo-Christian God in which by the sheerest accident you happen to have been brought up and, and ask me the question, what if I'm wrong? What if you're wrong about the great juju at the bottom of the sea? If you were upset hearing that answer to that very simple and logical question, I am saddened to hear the answer. Actually, it is not an answer. It's an escape. But I want you to take note that why if you are wrong? How if you are wrong? That is, but that was the question posed to him. And the answer said that anybody could be wrong. Practically, what follows next is not anymore very much reliable. Because he practically had admitted uh, that uh, he can be wrong. Because anybody can be wrong. But that is misleading. Not anybody can be wrong. I know of someone who cannot be wrong. And that is the God of the Bible. The God whom he does not believe. In Titus 1, 2, it says, In hope of eternal life, which God that cannot lie promised before the world began. You see, he is a God that cannot lie. He cannot be wrong. And how do I prove that he cannot be wrong? He prophesied 2,000 years ago the emergence of pestilences. But he is certainly telling the truth. He said in Matthew chapter 24, verse 6, that he shall heal of wars and rumors of wars, see that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places, and these are the beginning of sorrows. This is God, what God said 2,000 years ago. There will be wars, rumors of wars, pestilences, and there will be famines, and earthquakes. Who in in that year, 2,000 years ago, in the abundance of food, in the abundance of the resources of the earth, can imagine that there will be famine and pestilences and great earthquakes in diverse places. But what God said 2,000 years ago is definitely the truth. So, there is an authority that cannot be wrong, and that is God. That is the very person whom this Richard Dawkins does not believe. Now, the question to him is, how if you are wrong that there is no God? Then he did not answer the question, but he escaped the consequences of his uh, belief that there is no God. He just misled the audience and the one asking the question and said that, uh, how if you are wrong also as a Christian? How if the Hindus and the Muslims are wrong, how... If the, those born in Africa that believe in the great Juju are wrong, that, that, that is the question. But is that a sensical answer to a very sensical question? The, the, the most sensible answer is definitely those that believe, believe in the great Juju of the mountains are wrong. Those that believe in the, in the time of the Vikings in Denmark that believe in Wotan and Thor are wrong because they are not realities. Those that believe in Zeus of the Greek uh, Empire are wrong because Zeus is not a god. 
He is an idol. He is uh, idolized by the Greeks. The Diana and Adonis are gods and goddesses, but uh, they are not real gods. So they are definitely wrong. But the question does not uh, answer truthfully what it's, it is required of the speaker. They are definitely wrong. And do not tell me that because you are born in India, you are sure to be a Hindu. While it is true that those born in India can be Hindus, but there are those that born in India who are not Hindus. They can be Christians after due investigation of their faith. Oh, those born in Africa, it doesn't necessarily follow that because you are born in Africa, you will become a believer of the great Juju of the mountains. There are educated Africans that after having discovered so many sources of truth, especially the Bible, now believe the existence of God and the Lord Jesus Christ. You see? So, that is not a very sensible answer. In fact, it is not even an answer. It is just a scape to the consequences of propagating that belief that there is no God. Mind you, brothers and sisters and, and friends, uh, these people who are called now atheists that do not believe in God are fools, according to the Bible. They are fools. You can, you can uh, discern their foolishness by their answers. Let us hear one of them. None, not one, no God, never was.